Hi there, everybody. It's James, and welcome back to Tick Whippies FC. I'm, I, I, I was just on the finances screen, taking a look at everything here, looking at that nice, healthy 1.1 million pounds sitting here in our bank, looking at how things are going to look good. Look at that. Transfer. I think that's, oh, we don't have any debt. It's now net debt. Transfer debt, we got a little bit, but we've got that covered. Main kit sponsor projection. We are projected to make money. Hello. Thank you kindly. Transfer budget is looking like it's supposed to go up over the next couple of years. Hell yeah. Uh, salary commitments, code of conduct. Where it looks like we're pretty all right finance wise. Why do we have a star player on 45 pounds? Oh, I know why. Well, we'll talk about that later. Expenditure income. If you look at our income this season, whew, players sold was a good amount of it. And then gate receipts and then prize money. I mean, we got oh, 300,000 of that came from like the FA Cup. So yeah, it shows you we're still like a team that requires us to sell players to go through. Speaking of which, a lot of people want of uh, want our players, and Cameron Archer does not want to renew his contract. I've been trying to get him to get a new one. He doesn't want to, so we may be losing him on a free. He scored 33 goals for us this season. Joan Romero, <laughs> Joe Roman Moreno scored 34 goals for us. Darlin Casa, 35 goals and 18 assists. Chalmers, you can see here, there's, there's some pretty good stuff. There's also some other guys around here that you may see. Hey, these guys are new. Shh, secrets. Secrets, those are for the transfer special. Those are not for now. Those are for later. You have to be patient. But yes, uh, I guess I can quickly go over how our form has been since you guys have been here. Uh, Broomgrove Spart Sporting, we won the Tit League. Since then, it was a win, a win, a loss. Eh, but then a win, and 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 a win. And guess what? A win. And we won the Southern League Cup Final. Cut 1,000 pounds for it. Yay! Uh, beat Lemmington on the last game of the season, which was 30 days ago in game. So we've had to wait this long. Yes, I've simmed 30 days without being able to do like any transfer business or anything to get us to play Derby County in the final at Wembley. That's right, folks. We're at Wembley. The team selection is our strongest team. Hernandez, Antonson, O'Donnell, Aconquo, Daniel, Tanzer, Chalmers, Ponzo, Casa, Archer, and Moreno. Archer's possible last game for the club. We'll see. When he obviously when he leaves and his contract expires and he leaves, I will basically just try to sign him right away. Sechek, Madu, Diallo, Kane, Sione, Giles, and Para all on the bench. We've played these guys before. We kind of know how this is going to go. Just happy to be here. Though, granted, treble, non-league treble, like on the line here, uh, which is kind of funny. Just let them know I have faith. I've told these guys that we don't expect to win. We just want to go out there and have fun. Wow, that's a lot of people. Like, I would not expect that many people to be here for this kind of game. Granted, it's Derby County. They're coming. This is they they won the Vanarama National League. So they're back in league football in League Two. As of this match. So this is our second time in Wembley. I wonder if we get any of the cuts of the gate receipts. But granted, it looks full on football manager. There could be very well be like no people here. Actually, it could be like 10,000 people, which is still way above like the amount of people we've ever played in front of. So, yes, today will be this game and then the final the season review. And then I finally get to do my transfers over the weekend. Ho holiday weekend for us or banking holiday on Monday, as some of you would say. So good news uh, gives me extra time to get this done. Wow, Derby County are pretty good. Granted, they're two steps ahead of us and also professional. So still thing. Is, do they have Joe? Is that Joe Willock? Zaconquo so gets that. He's going to kick it long, isn't he? He's going to kick it long. Boom. Casa almost wins the header. Oh, but he wins it there. Cheeky Casa. Hernandez, Antonsen. Hernandez. Ball over the top. Tanzer wasn't running, but he finds Moreno to Tanzer. 
to oh that is a major screw up and archer scores the goal that puts us ahead by the way cameron archer uh one of his other hidden attributes has become available to us now is the thing he does not like big matches so that's a kind of a good thing to see by the way willock i need to take a look here at the team at darby's team here is this joe it's chris Continue. If it was Joe Willock, I was going to be a little worried. But Chris Willock, okay. So, a surprise start to the game where we have now gone 1-0 up. Granted, you know, Derby County is Derby County. Sorry, Derby County. Down Derby County is Derby County. Um, we have played against Premier League opposition and not looked about horrible. But against Champions chip opposition and looked pretty good as well so i can't say i'm surprised that we're playing or kind of holding on here for instance but at the same time like these guys can definitely come at it like this like that i think tom lawrence scored a free kick goal on us last time too we're on balanced why are we on balanced we should be on positive I tell these guys to play positively all the time play on the upper foot man four shots see immediately tell them to go positive they immediately go up a notch here and we get a shot on target so good news for us one one isn't bad at halftime especially considering how the game has gone what do we want to tell these guys keep working hard yeah, keep working hard is good. By the way, O'Donnell has been a very good signing for us. The man is aggressive as all hell, but he constantly puts in good performances. Casa's looking like he's struggling. Archer's all right. Moreno's all right. Midfield is doing okay. Daniel, I'm not happy with. By the way, Daniel also wants kind of new contract. And I think we've kind of solved that problem for us. Moreno, you should have chested that down. There was nobody pressurizing you. God, Lawrence, stop him. How do you let him beat you on the near post like that? You just gotta go, you just have to fall, essentially. I am not happy with that goal. Absolute shreds, you say. We're gonna go attacking. Chalmers, ball in. That's a penalty. Hell yeah, it's a penalty. All right, darling. You get paid the big bucks here. You know what to do. Last time you saw him miss two penalties. He doesn't miss it there. He doesn't miss it there. It is now gone 2-2 to Tigwhippies FC. Beautiful penalty for him too. Bottom corner. Keeper never had a shot. Now Lawrence is the guy we gotta worry about. His Tanzer is on it. Now Moreno does. Look at that. See, you controlled it this God damn it, Casa. I was trying to say nice things about people. It just doesn't work out. Ball over the top. Thompson. Flag. 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 That's that's not offside. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's onside there. Kind of a gun. The Conquo didn't see. Conquo does not fill me. His contract's up at the end of the season. He he's not filling me with much joy right now. Um, I'm taking Daniel off because I've just not liked anything I've seen from him. Like anxious. Fine, you're off. <laughs> Casa, I'm not. I'm keeping out there. Uh, O'Donnell, I guess I can take off from Madu. And just start pushing forward. Start going for it. Yeah, let's start going for it. Oh, and pause. Just demand more from the guys. Watch them get upset with me. Nope, turn some of them around. Okay. 
Para's coming on has not really done much. Moreno's still having a horrible game. All right, away, guys. Darby County are going to be like our rivals. We're chasing them up the league here. Fire up. How can you be overwhelmed by the feedback? I'm telling you guys, come on, let's go. It's 15 minutes. We can chase this down. Guess we can't. Shoot on sight. Counter. Distribute quickly. Don't distribute center backs. Take long kicks. Use tight end marking. Get stuck in. I probably could have um, dropped the line a little bit because they were getting penetration in the lack line there. I'm going to tell these guys I was far from pleased with what I just saw. That was a horrible performance in a cup final. And we are now 0 for 2 against Derby County in the cup and cup competitions and cup finals. You know, we played against the likes of Brentford, West Brom, you know, those kind of clubs that are of of a better quality than these guys. Uh you weren't good enough. I don't have the words to express how angry this makes me. Uh yeah, uh you you were not good enough today. That see turned it. Everybody's motivated now. See? Give him a give him a little bit of a yell job. Still thirty thousand. I slammed the team. Hey, 10 journalists, what's up? Uh, middle button. There you go. Now we should. Here, you're trying to put words in my mouth. Now we should see. One more day. Yep, come on. One more day, and we should see it. And that can start all. Hopefully, I think like the game is also kind of low. Kind of, kind of, we get into this weird contract thing where it doesn't let me offer contracts to certain people. They don't think I have the financial might until after the season rolls over. And then once it rolls over, then I can start offering these guys contracts again for whatever reason. Because we have the wage budget to do it. I've got like a six thousand pound wage budget. I'm only using two thousand of it. Okay, here we go. The new arrivals. Two trophies this season. Uh, Bobby O'Donnell was... Really, he got voted as player of the season. 17 apps, six goals. That's pretty good. Cameron Archer. I mean, yeah. Scott Tanzer. Chris Giles. Moreno. Kane. Ruben Mendez. He was great. 14 goals in like 18 appearances. Or 18 sub-appearances. Parra was a great player up the thing. Stesic was, you know, he to C+. Plus. Daniel was all right, coming from Bradenford. He played a lot of games for us. 21 assists. Whew. Transfers out. Turner, Gallagher. I mean, all guys we wanted. Vail helped finance a lot of this. Savoyan. Joshua Linton. Xavier. Fossey. Once again, Jehenna. He ended up getting 10 goals. Did he end up getting hurt or something? No, he just didn't score for, like, the rest of the season. All right. Well, he's using League 2. Season's results. Uh, we won the league. We were knocked out of the FA Trophy, or the FA Cup. We were knocked out in the fourth round. FA Trophy, Southern League Cup. But we won the league. Biggest win. Match to remember was a 7-1 thumping goal of the season. The finances. No new sponsorship. Total merchandise sales. Sponsorship is the same. No broadcast revenue. Corporate hospitality is up. Competition prize money is up. And match day and commercial retail is up. How we lined up. Moreno, Archer, Casa, Kane, Chalmers. I don't really know. I thought Pozo would be there. Tanzer, Daniel, Xavier, Antonson, Hernandez, and Oconquo. I would agree with you. Fans player of the season is Joe Chalmers. Hell yeah. Young player of the season is Cameron Archer. Signing of the season is Bobby O'Donnell. Goal of the season is Kane. Casa is the top goal scorer with 36. Most assists, 31 with Chalmers. 
Match man the match, bang bang. Worst discipline was Antonson with twelve yellow cards. Most appearances by a player, Darlin Casa with one hundred seventeen. Sechek was the oldest player, and our highest transfer fee received was for Xavier. Uh, hard work paid off. The end of season award ceremony. All right, let's take a look at everything here. Chalmers creates a new record. Uh, FA Trophy assist. Okay, he has six. Bang. Season review. Obviously, we saw that. Squad. I don't need to look at that. Casa, Chalmers, and Ponzo are all highly influential players. I would agree. Uh, new season team report. Bobby O'Donnell, Hernandez, Antonson, Daniel Tanzer, Merton De- Mendez is the deep line playmaker now. Interesting. Casa, Cameron Archer, and Giles. Very cool. Aconquo. We didn't really have a lot of injuries. Post matches that. Club vision meeting. Uh, let's negotiate this. They want us to win the league. Look to build on promotion of the Vanderbilt National League. That's fine. Build a new stadium. Okay. They don't want us to expand the current one. They want to build the new. Fine. I'm all right with all of that. Yeah, that's fine. Build a new stadium. The board want to build a new stadium. Is that going to happen if I click continue? Now, is that what they're going to look for? I was going to ask them to expand it. So I guess we'll end this episode after this timer click here. Oh, going places. Is that the achievement for... You guys can't see this. Board decide to build a new stadium. 3,000 Tigwhippies FC have begun destruction of Tigwhippies FC Stadium will cost about 1.9 million pounds. The figure will be offset by 75,000 pounds and received by selling the West Glebe Pavilion. The board are delighted to announce that they've been able to finance the project without any, secure, any external funding. Additional funding for the project will be secured for the stadium sponsorship deal worth 50,000 and 850,000 granted from th- corresponding things. Okay, cool. It started. It started already. It's going to be finished by the end of the season. Next season, three thousand. We're moving to Latner Park, which is in Kettering. Okay, that's close by. Does Kettering play there? Kettering does play there. Burton Park also play there. So that's going to be fun for fixtures. Um. So we'll be in Latin Air Park. The club's objective is to build new stadiums. We realize their vision is taking shape. So instead of expanding the West Glee Park, we are getting uh, Tigwhippies FC Stadium, which is which is awesome. Um, a little bit sooner than I thought, but if we're doing it, because you can only uh, hopefully we can expand it once we if we get into the Premier League in a couple of years. Well, I mean, National League, so four, two, six, seven, eight years. No one goes to grass service, no roof. How bad did it hit my... It didn't. Debt and loans. It didn't. Oh, hell yeah. We got ourselves a new stadium, boys. Girls and everybody else. That's awesome. Manchester United wins the FA Cup. That is that is really cool. And then uh, we need to get a scout. By the way, can I offer contracts to people now? Hey, Ramon. Now I can offer contracts to people. So, on that bombshell, I've got a off season to work on. So, until then, I've been James. You've been you. This has been Tig Whippies FC. And it's not how good you are. It's how good you want to be. Um, if you made it this far into, into the uh, video, comment below what you want me to name the stadium. Yeah, there you go. How's that one for you? Uh, best one down below gets the, ri- gets the rights to name it. I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>